This is the analogy of the trauma cabinet. Have you ever wondered how traumatic memories keep you trapped and affect your thinking? Well, this is how traumatic memories are stored. If you imagine that the brain is a filing cabinet and it has drawers for the past, the present and the future, with traumatic memories, each drawer is full of files. When this is how non-traumatic memories should be stored, each drawer has its own files. So the past is where all our memories belong, long-term memory containing all the data and all the information that you've given it over the years. The present has only the memory of right now in it, and that's how mindfulness works, keeping you grounded in the present, not thinking about the past and not worrying about the future. And the future should be empty. It should have nothing in it because it simply hasn't happened yet. So what happens when the files are in all the drawers? Your memories are scattered. Traumatic memories are in all the drawers and instead of being in long-term memory, they're in areas of the brain that are easily triggered and these memories can be activated as if the initial sensitizing incident is happening right now. And this is what leads to long-term anxiety. The anxiety caused at the time has already affected the past. The anxiety pictures up in the present, causing all the physical symptoms and the debilitating fear right now for example, during a pan panic attack. And it also contaminates the future by projecting the fear and exacerbating current symptoms. So what can help? Hypnosis. And how does it do that? Because under hypnosis, we're able to access those traumatic memories. We reprocess them and reduce the emotional intensity attached and then encourage them to be filed in long-term memory where they are much less likely to be triggered. So moving from the drawers that are stuffed full of all memories and too many files to putting them all nice and neatly in the correct drawers. So with your memories filed properly, Past memories become references, not triggers. The present can be appreciated for what it is, and the fear of the future can be minimised, and in that way the anxiety cycle can be disrupted. This is Tracy from tracydevet.com, and if you'd like to know more about reducing anxiety, then book a free discovery call with me at calendly.com forward slash Tracy DeVette strategy call and remember that's spelt with a W not a V. On this strategy call I give you 30 minutes of my time to understand your problem and see if I'm able to help. 100% unconditional with no strings attached. Give me a call. I'd love to chat. See you soon.